diversity challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. As the quarter-final stage of this competition unfolds, we now know that the first team through to the semi-finals is Emmanuel College, Cambridge. The institutions playing tonight both lost their first quarter-final matches, so while the winners will get one last opportunity to make the semi-finals, it's the minibus of broken dreams for the losers. <laughs> the story so far for the team from Warwick University includes a convincing defeat of the University of Liverpool in round one and East London University in round two. Their first quarter-final, though, was a less happy experience when, despite an early lead, they lost to Emmanuel College Cambridge by 90 points to 200. With an accumulated total of 520, let's meet the Warwick team again. Hello, I'm Sophie Hobbs. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying French and history. Hi, I'm Sophie Rudd. I'm from Lincolnshire and I'm studying computer science and its applications. And their captain? Hello, I'm Giles Hutchings. I'm from Farnham in Surrey and I'm studying maths. Hello, I'm Thomas Van. I'm from Geneva in Switzerland and I'm studying history. Now, the team from the University of Bristol had a comfortable win in the first round with 210 points to Sheffield University's 130. Round two was even easier for them when they sent Oriel College Oxford home by a margin of 265 points to 70. But then 70 was all they could muster when they were defeated by Corpus Christi College Oxford on 250 points in their first quarter-final. No doubt intending to recover their earlier form with an accumulated score of 545. Let's meet the Bristol team again. Hi, I'm Joe Rolleston. I'm from Tamworth in Staffordshire and I'm training to teach history. Hi, I'm Claire Jackson. I'm from Carsholton in south-west London and I'm studying for an MSI in paleontology and evolution. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Alice Clark. I'm from Oxford and I study medicine. Hi, I'm Michael Tomsett. I'm from Hinckley in Leicestershire and I'm doing a PhD in organic chemistry. <laughs> OK, well, you all know the rules by now, so let's just get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Meanings of what word link? A South American monkey of the genus Aloata a form of mathematical fallacy that produces a correct result in spite of an error in the calculation, a glaring blunder, especially an amusing one, and in the Harry Potter books, a magical letter sent to signify extreme anger. Bristol Rolleston. A howler. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Bristol, are on film locations for your first outing in which you may confer. Firstly, for five points, which US National Memorial features in both Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest and the 2007 film National Treasure, A Book of Secrets? Mount Rushmore. Correct. Which Vienna landmark features in both Richard Linklater's Before Sunrise and Carol Reed's The Third Man? In the latter, it's the location of Orson Welles' speech about cuckoo clocks. So it's the big, um, it's the wheel. What's the wheel called? The big Ferris wheel. Oh, and the Pottocks. Prada. Prada? Prada? Yeah. Prada. Yeah. Prada. Prada. Yeah. Prada. No, it was the giant Ferris wheel. That was what we were looking for, not the name of the park for the landmark. And finally, which building features in the 1957 film An Affair to Remember, the 1993 Sleepless in Seattle, and both the 1933 and the 2005 versions of King Kong? It's the Empire State Building. Correct. Right, ten points for this. Of which philosopher did Roger Scruton say he produced one of the most difficult works of philosophy ever written, aiming to show the limits of human reasoning and at the same time to justify the use of our intellect... Warwick Rudd. Kant. It was Immanuel Kant, yes. <laughs> In the critique of pure reason, so you get a set of bonuses, Warwick, on the author Dorothy L. Sayers. Sayers' fiction featured which author of detective stories based to some extent on herself? Sayers eventually married her to another of her creations, Lord Peter Whimsey. So this is another detective author? A female detective. Agatha Christie? A female it's detective. Fictional. Oh, yeah. fictional. Um, What's the name of the protagonist? Dorothy M. Sayers. Who? Is it Miss Marple? No, 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 that's yeah. Agatha Christie. Who's oh. Dorothy M. Sayers? Who? She, she's famous know. for something. I don't know. I don't know she's who famous for Peter Wimple, actually, but... Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know. It was Harriet Vane. Secondly, for five points, Sayers set one of her whimsy novels in an advertising agency, having herself been a copywriter at S.H. Benson's. During her time there, she was credited with coining 
What four-word phrase about advertising? See it, know. want it, I don't know. Sure. Um, well, I can't think of anything. The business of... Business, I think it might be... Business, business of, of aspiration? Well, it's a, well, that, I don't know. The business, the of, business of aspiration? No, it, it pays to advertise. Oh. And finally, Sayer's translation of what work was praised by Umberto Eco as the best in English, quote, in at least partially preserving the hendecker syllables and the rhyme? Perhaps it's yeah. the Divine Comedy. I mean, Italian. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, the Divine Comedy? Correct. <laughs> right, ten points at stake for this. In road cycling and cricket, what six-letter adjective may precede bottle and wicket in expressions meaning an unauthorised... Warwick Rudd. Sticky? Sticky is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses, Warwick, are on artists and physicists. In each case, the surname of the former is the forename of the latter. I simply need the shared name. So, for example, Brian Thomas and Thomas Kuhn would give Thomas. Understand? Yeah. yeah. OK, five points for this. Two Welsh artists and siblings born in the 1870s and a US physicist who received two Nobel Prizes for work in semiconductors and superconductors. Cooper? Oh, Cooper? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cooper. No, it's John. Gwen and Augustus John and John Bardeen. Oh. Secondly, an English romantic painter born 1789 and noted for grand biblical themes and a cosmologist who was appointed Astronomer Royal in 1995. Is that Martin Rees? I can't remember if this one was Royal. Sounds like Martin, right? Yeah, I think so. I can't sure. remember anything. Martin? It was John Martin and Martin Rees. And finally, the German surrealist who painted Ubu Imperator and an Austrian physicist who gives his surname to a number measuring speed relative to the speed of sound. Oh, is that Mark. Mac? But it's Ernst Mac, and it must be Max Ernst. Okay. I think it's yeah. Ernst. Ernst is correct. Max Ernst with Ernst Mac. <laughs> Right, we're going to take a picture around. For your picture starter, you'll see a map of part of Britain showing two battlefields. For ten points, name the royal figure who commanded an army at both battles. Bristol Rolleston. Uh, Harold II. Harold II is correct, yes. <laughs> Down to Bridge and Hastings. Your picture bonuses are three more maps showing battles associated with a particular royal commander. Firstly, which royal figure commanded at both the battles shown here? It's Tom really... Culloden, isn't it? It's... Is it? Near in Vanets. So, yeah, so if it's a royal figure, so it's going to be... Bonnie Prince Charlie. James. So it's... Oh, it's yeah. Well, Culloden's Bonnie Prince be... Charlie. Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah. Uh, or is it Macbeth? I think we better have an answer, please. Bonnie Prince Charlie. It was Bonnie Prince Charlie, yes. Sorry. It was uh, Preston Pans and Culloden. Secondly, which future King of England commanded at the battle shown here? Uh, is that, is that Edward the Fourth, I would say. I was say is it? Henry V battle of Shrewsbury. Oh, wait, maybe it's not when. Oh, when? That's when it was for Henry the Fourth, was it? It's in Shakespeare's Henry the Fourth when he was. But, uh, maybe not. No. Let's have it, please. Henry the Fourth. Henry the Fourth. No, it was Edward the First, <laughs> Lewis and Evesham. Oh, and finally, who was the principal royal commander at these battles? Oh, um, would that be if they're all grouped up like that? Charles the First. Mm. Okay. And Cornel. Yeah, yeah Cornel as well. I, I don't. I, I can't quite figure out what the Cornel one is. Charles the First. Charles the First. Correct. Yeah. Right, ten points for this. Published in 1915, which specific physical theory has as a central principle the equivalence of inertial and gravitational mass? Bristol Jackson. General relativity. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on ancient philosophy, Bristol. Thought to be the first Western philosopher to deny that the universe owes its existence to God, who was the first of the so-called Milesian school of philosophers? Well, Thales is of Miletus. Yeah, it's the right place. Miletian. Yeah. Thales? Yeah. Yeah, Thales Miletus. Correct. What six-word term denotes the theories based on the concept that everything in the universe can be understood in terms of a single substance? In the case of Thales, that substance was water. Is that going to be monism? Yeah. 
Yeah, monism. Correct. Which pupil of Thales challenged his suggestion that Earth was supported by a sea of water, instead declaring it to be an object hanging in space? I was thinking of Heraclitus. But it might be Zeno as well. Which came in the name. It could be Democritus. Democritus. Come on, let's have it, please. Yeah. Democritus. No, it's Anaximander. Oh, okay. Right, ten points for this. The Penguin Boardwalk and the Limestone Quarry are features of which island in Table Bay? From the early 1960s until 1991, it served as South Africa's maximum... Bristol Rolleston. Robin Island. Robin Island is right, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on biochemistry, Bristol. Name the monosaccharides that constitute the following disaccharides. I need two answers in each case. First, maltose. That's glucose and sucrose? Yes, I think so. Glucose and sucrose. No, it's glucose and glucose. Oh. Oh. Secondly, lactose. Galactose. 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 Yeah. Um, glucose galactose. Correct. Yeah. And finally, sucrose. Fructose. 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 And since the 18th century has been a major centre for the manufacture of porcelain. Warwick Hutchings, Leon. No, anyone want to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Tomset, Avignon. No, it's Limoges. Ten points for this. Believed by the US psychologist William H. Sheldon to be associated with personality traits such as intellectualism and inhibition. What term from the Greek for outside form denotes a light and delicate body build? Warwick Rudd. Endomorph. Anyone like to bust from Bristol? Bristol Rolleston. Ectomorph. Ectomorph is correct, yes. <laughs> we get a set of bonuses, Bristol, on darts. Firstly, for five, there are four possible three dart checkouts for 158. Give any one of them. So it needs to be two singles and a double score to check out. So two singles and a double to add up to 158. So you can get... Well, no, it could be trebles as well. So you can get 12, treble, 20, 120, and then you've got 38 left to go, so... Eight and 12 double. and double... Six, would that be it? No. Yeah. no. 120 plus... Let's just say 10 for... No. 18. Mm. Yeah, treble, treble 20, 20, and then double nine. Okay. Yeah. Nominate Tom Set. Treble 20, 20, and then double nine. No, it's treble 20, treble 20, or double and double 19, or treble 20, treble 16, and a bullseye, or treble 19, treble 17, a bullseye, or treble 18, treble 18, and a bullseye. <laughs> right, to give either of the two possible three dart checkouts for 164. So can you go? Can you get to 164? Get to 164. Get to 114, and then go for a ball. I can get to 114. Treble 20, 120, 44, and then you Treble just... 20 is not 120, yeah, sorry, that's where I'm we're going wrong. Treble 20, treble... Treble 20, treble 18, bull. Nominate Tom set. Treble 20, treble 18, bull. Correct! <laughs> well done! <laughs> You've not spent much time in the pub, have you? <laughs> Finally, what's the only three dart checkout for 170? Double 20, treble 20. Double 20, treble 20 is 120 and then a ball. Yeah, treble yeah. 20, treble 20, ball. No, wait, Tom's set. Treble 20, treble 20, ball. Well done, yes. <laughs> Another starter question. Known as the Great and the Younger, respectively, what five letter name is shared by the founder in about 550 BC? Warwick Rudd. Akbar. Now, I'm afraid you lose five points. 550 BC of the Achaemenid dynasty and the Persian ah, prince. Bristol who's... Rolleston. Cyrus. Cyrus is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on mothers and daughters. In each case, name both people from the descriptions, Bristol. Firstly, the Booker Prize-nominated Indian author of Clear Light of Day, Fasting, Feasting and In Custody, and the Booker Prize-winning Indian-American author of The Inheritance of Loss. No idea. 
let's just pass. Let's pass. It's Anita Desai and Kieran Desai. Secondly, a biographer of Queen Victoria and the Duke of Wellington and a historical biographer whose book, Must You Go, celebrates her life with Harold Pinter. Oh, I don't be afraid of the daughter, who's yeah. the mother. Uh, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah Fraser, Antonia Fraser. No, it's not. It's Antonia Fraser and Elizabeth Longford. And finally, the authors of A Vindication of the Rights of Woman and Frankenstein. Mary Shelley, Mary Wollstonecroft. Mary Shelley, Mary Wollstonecroft. Correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round now. Listen carefully. If you're a music starter, you're going to hear two excerpts from pieces of popular music. Listen to both, and I'd like the name of both bands. Warwick Run. Dire Straits and Talking Heads. No, anyone like to buzz from Bristol? No, I'll tell you, it's Roxy Music and Talking Heads. So, uh, music bonuses in a moment or two. Another starter question in the meantime. Spell both names of the two cities in the order they're described. The first is the capital of Lower Normandy, where William the Conqueror is buried. The second is a resort on the Riviera. <laughs> Bristol Rolleston. Uh, C A E N and C A W -N, N E S. Correct, yes. <laughs> you remember you heard music from Roxy, but well, you didn't remember, obviously. <laughs> As a member of Roxy Music, Brian Eno played on the first track you heard and later produced the second track, which was The Talking Heads. Your bonuses are three more pairs of tracks. In each case, either the artist or a member of the band performing the first track was the producer of the second. For five points, I want the names of the performers or bands of both tracks. Firstly, the name of the vocalist on the first piece and the band performing the second. I'm not going to this thing. Elvis Costello and the Pogues. That's correct, yes. Secondly, both of these bands. It's Weezer and one other. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. The first track was The Cars, oh. and Weezer was the second track. Finally, these two artists. <laughs> Moves of the world. David Bowie, Iggy Pop. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Born in North Germany in 1777, which mathematician's works include? The Disquisitiones Arithmeticae, the first systematic exposition of algebraic number theory. Warwick Hutchings. Scouts. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses, Warwick, on duelling. Firstly, after a clash in the House of Commons in 1798, which political figure fought an inconclusive duel in Putney with George Tierney, a prominent opponent of his policy? Oh, gosh, who's this? I know it comes up all the time. Mm -hmm. as well. um, I don't know if you've got any ideas. No, sorry, I don't know. 
That was William Pitt the Younger. Mm -hmm. In a duel in Kentucky in 1806, who received a bullet in the chest from his opponent, Charles Dickinson, whom he then shot and killed? He later became the seventh president of the United States. Jackson. Is it Jackson? I think so, yeah. Uh, Jackson. Correct. As Foreign Secretary in 1809, which future Prime Minister fought an inconclusive duel with the Secretary of War, Viscount Castlereagh? 1809. Yeah, then he would have been Prime Minister. 10 or 20th. Um, I, yeah, should I go that? Canning. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In the 14th century, Simon Sudbury, William ah, Courtney... Bristol Tomset. What, Tyler? No, you lose five points. William Courtney and Thomas Arundel were successive holders of which specific office? <laughs> Warwick Hutchings. Duke of Norfolk? No, they were Archbishops of Canterbury. Oh, awesome. Ten points for this. The name of which capital city means elephant's trunk in Arabic? It is situated close to the confluence of the Blue Nile and the White Nile. Warwick Rudd. Khartoum. Khartoum is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on anatomy, Warwick. In each case, give the term from the description. All three begin with the same two letters. Firstly, the second vertebra, that is the one immediately below the atlas. It might be the sacrum, or is the atlas all the way up here? Sure. I have sure. no idea. Sacrum? No, it's the axis. Okay. Secondly, an elongated fibre of a nerve okay. cell that conducts outgoing impulses. Axon. Correct. Finally, the Latin name of the armpit. Axilla. Correct. We're going to take a second picture on that. Your picture starts, you'll see a painting inspired by a 19th century poem. For ten points, I need the title of the poem, please. Warwick Van. The Lady of Shalott. Correct. <laughs> that was The Lady of Shalott by John William Waterhouse. For your picture bonuses, uh, three more paintings by Waterhouse of fictional women. This time, in each case, I'm looking for the name of the character. Firstly, who is this figure from classical literature? Mm -hmm. oh. Do you have any ideas? Or oh. Circe was a pig. Oh, there is a bull, yeah. Oh. Uh, should I go with Circe? Yeah. Circe? It is Circe offering the cup to Ulysses. Secondly, who's the figure on the left here, again from classical sources? Oh, is this, is this the one who poison. kills herself? Kills, who, kills herself. To go to Troy, so they can um, all go to Troy. I can't I think know. of it. Is that...? I have nothing. Do you guys want to go with that? Eris? No, it's Medea. And finally, who's this character from a 17th century work? Something like by John Milton or. No, no. The one was Fairy Queen. Yeah. Uh, Gloriana, uh, maybe. Oh, Gloriana? No, it's Miranda from The Tempest. Oh. Right. Ten points for this starter question. Derived from the ancient Greek use of pebbles when casting votes, what term. Warwick Rudd. Oh, no. Um, I'm sorry. Ostracism. It... No, I'm afraid no. you lose five points. What term describes the scientific study of elections? None of you is going to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Thompson. Feminology? No, it's cephology. Oh. Right, ten points for this. In a short opera first performed in 1930, what name did Kurt Weill and Bertolt Brecht give to an allegorical city perceived at first to be a utopia of idleness and pleasure? It was Mahagoni. Ten points for this. Towns whose names are also nouns, meaning public recital, virginity and bog or miry place, are linked by... Bristol Thompson. Head. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Are linked by which major river and valley of the UK? Warwick Rudd. Thames. Correct. So your bonuses, Warwick, are on Scotland. On which island is Dunvegan Castle, the home of the Clan MacLeod? Aaron, Sky, Ron. Yeah. Aaron. Aaron? No, it's Sky. <sighs> Secondly, a stronghold of the McNeil clan, Kizimule Castle, lies on an island close to Castle Bay. On which island of the Outer Hebrides? Outer Hebrides. On uh, it could be west, north, northwest, uh, southwest. Lewis and Harris. Uh, Lewis and Harris. No, it's Barra. Oh. And finally, both associated with Clan Maclean, Moy Castle and Dewart Castle are on which island? Should I go Aaron? Aaron? <laughs> no, it's Mull. There are two and a half oh. minutes to go and there are ten points for this. The Yellowhammer belongs to which group of finch-like songbirds? Other species that may be seen in Britain include the corn, lapland, reed and ah. snow. Bristol Jackson. Warbler. 
I'm sorry, I'm going to have to find you five points. Warwick Run. Thrush. No, they're buntings. <sighs> Ten points for this. Until the 19th century, about 90% of the territory of which present-day country was occupied by speakers of the Pama Nyingan group of indigenous languages? Warwick Van. Australia. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on church architecture, Warwick. Derived ultimately from the Latin for wing, what term denotes an area extending yeah. parallel to the main body of a church? It may also believe. indicate a passage or walkway. Apse. 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 No, it's the aisle. <laughs> In a cruciform planned church, what name is given to the arms that project at right angles from the main body of the building? It's not the nave. No, they've got specific names. I can't think what it is. Yeah. Any idea? It's 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 a nave. No, they're transepts. What term describes the main part of a church flanked by the aisles and extending from the Nave. entrance to the chancel? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. These words appear in which book of the Old Testament? In the King James Bible, it comes between Proverbs and Song of Songs. Warwick Rudd. Psalms? No, anyone like to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Thompson. Judges. No, it's Ecclesiastes. Ten points for this. In 1613, the Globe Theatre was burned to the ground after a cannon misfired during a production of which... Bristol Rollister. Henry V. No, I'm afraid you're going to be fine five points. A production of which play thought to have been a collaboration between William Shakespeare and John Fletcher? Come on, one of you buzz, Warwick. I'll tell you, it's Henry VIII. Ten points for this. Which Austrian director's first sound film was entitled M and concerned the... Warwick Rudd. Fritz Lang. Fritz Lang is yeah. correct. <laughs> you take the lead. Your bonuses are on astronomy and chemistry. The name of which element contains the name of a large moon of the solar system? Number 22 in the periodic table. It's a metal noted for its high strength to weight ratio. Titanium. Titanium. Correct. The name of which... And that, the God of Bristol had 110, but Warwick had 120. Well, Bristol, you, you know, you had the lead much of the way and I thought you were going to do it, but, uh, you know, you're pipped at the post. But uh, we'll have to say goodbye to you then, I'm afraid. Uh, Warwick, congratulations. Well done. You like living dangerously, but well done. <laughs> I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match. But until then, it's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.